Alright, let's continue Animal Crossing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking and hope you've been enjoying so far. It's the end of the week, finally. So I'm gonna finish what I started last time. I have stuff coming in. Okay. Oh, there's a campsite visitor. Don't know if it's anyone I'd really care about. Okay. Let me just do do this first. Oh, right, my mailbox is not on the outside. It's not on the outside, of course it's not. So this will this will be cool to put this together for today. Uh, oh wait, they sent me something as well. Did Melba send me? I'll see you in a minute. Okay. I think the walls that I got are already the correct color. I might just be able to place them, we'll see. doing was placing this. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. What to play out here, I'm not sure. what you would have playing outside. Actually, I don't think I've used this on the island yet. I'll use this. I'm probably going to have to move some of these trees. first. Wait, oh no, I thought for a sec they wanted to purchase something I had on me. That's easy enough, I'll find that.
I'll get the panels that I need, get the fortune, just in case it gives me the food one. And I guess I'll check the art. I think after this, I'm pretty much done with my house. Uh, I can't remember if I have that one. I have one half of it. I don't think I have this half. Hold on, let me check. Wild painting rights. It's the fake one. <laughs> Damn. I'll still get it so he refreshes the stock tomorrow. Hopefully I got the food one, because I'm going to be moving trees, so I can just eat one piece of food and get double. No, it's the bad, not the food one, but it's it's the bad one. Damn. Okay, well now I have to. I have to pay the money. I'm gonna be moving stuff. I don't want that affecting me. Uh, oh well. I guess because I didn't specify which food one I wanted, I was like, I want the food fortune. I got the food fortune. It just gave me the bad one. Had to try. Oh, you can only customize. Okay. That's fine. Uh this one. Wait, I pick no I picked white, not gray. There we go. Quickly 
change my clothing and then I'll start putting stuff in place. I don't know. I don't know any comedian that wears pants like this. already. Go with that. <laughs> okay. That looks like a lad. I mean, aside from the pants, but... Hey, confirming. How's it going? My hair has a bulge. Oh, yeah, it does too. But all hair used to have bulges at a certain point. Need to get food. So I can move these trees. Oh, that's okay. Cool. It's the beetle I needed to catch. But wait, are you serious again? This has been three nights that I've gotten shooting stars. Oh, nice. Yes. The green is spreading. Still no sign of purple for this. This is good. Where's Pashmina? Pashmina was the one that asked for the beetle. So I have the story from today. I... I wasn't sure when I was going to be done from work. And so... I decided about 4.30, alright, you know what, I'll order a pizza so then it gets here at a reasonable time. And if I'm still working, I'll have something to eat whilst I work. So I ordered it and to save a bit of time as well, because they had the thing where, you know, if you get another order, um, it doesn't cost an extra fee. So I put in something to like the local grocery store and got a couple things. So, you know, put in my order. And when I'm at the computer, I usually leave it up on screen, so then I can keep track of it, and I know when I have to get up and go meet the driver, otherwise I get lost. 
And, uh... When the driver was on their way... They went to their starting point, weirdly enough, back again. They stayed there for a few minutes. And then they said they delivered my order. So, you know. At that point, it was... Not quite dinner time, but I was like, okay, that was weird. So, whatever. I reported it and got it re-delivered. Kind of shitty, but I wasn't hungry yet, so it was fine. Whatever. So, again, the order goes through. This time, there's no problem. But then, you know, I get my order. Everything looks fine. I get back up to my apartment. So, this is the confusing thing. It's like... The pizza was someone else's order, but then the groceries was also someone else's order. So whoever went and got it, picked up the wrong order twice. So, long story short now, I got a free pizza, and then I have beef jerky, a pack of four energy drinks, and a candy bar. <laughs> so, it just provided me with snacks for the evening, it's like, oh, okay. No, it wasn't anything I ordered, so whatever, it was free. But the, it took about two hours for this pizza. I didn't even get the right one, but that's fine. Anyway. Wait, you know that feeling when you wake up to a numb limb and it starts coming back to life, your arms have been doing that for three hours straight? That doesn't sound good. I don't think I've done that in a very long time. Usually it takes only a few, couple of minutes. And wait, what are noodle fries? What do you mean noodle fries? I've never heard of noodle fries. Is it exactly what it sounds like? I may as well sit here and get them now. Penne pasta, then season them to your liking and throw them in an air fryer. What do you mean season- hang on, season them like how? Like, just with salt? There was this Korean place I went to where they had Garlic and onion seasoning, Italian seasoning. There was, it reminds me of this Korean place I went to where they had spaghetti strands that were just at the table, kind of like breadsticks. And they had seasoning on them, so... That's the closest I've experienced to that sort of thing. But it wasn't penne, it was uh, just... Spaghetti. Yeah, it, every day. It's been three days, and I've gotten stars every day. Fly, no fly yet. Still waiting. And yesterday, I had the full moon. I got the special island. It was under a full moon. Shooting stars. What's going on? I got the island that gives you all the, the star fragments. Is it available year round or is it only during a particular season? Because you got to keep in mind that I'm in summer. 24-7 all year round? Well, okay. I don't know then.
so the beef jerky I'm happy with, I'll gladly eat that, but the candy bar is just like, I don't know what to do with it. It's a big one as well, it's like a twin pack, so it's two in one. I could maybe finish one, but not two in one sitting, it's just... I don't know, I don't have that much of a sweet tooth. Maybe it's something dumb, like it has to be on the first level. Ugh, on the first level, like ground level. You know, it's not dumb because there are some things that are exclusive to the mountains. So it's not such a far-fetched idea. Leave it somewhere with a sticky note saying I got it by accident to enjoy. I, I'm gonna see my niece tomorrow. I might just split it with my niece. I guess it depends if she's into this candy bar. You know, ironically, we're gonna go see Wonka. <laughs> I'll be like, I came prepared, look at this. It's not Wonka branded, but still. Man, these roses are just not... I just have luck with them. I did see someone do that, though. Um, they put out, like, a single can of beer and just said, Take it, it's free. Enjoy. They just put it on top of their mailbox. What's up, Alice? Oh, yeah, I'll play that. Sure. Do the rules. I like this music. It's like, um... So the candy bar I got is... Cadbury's version of Snickers, which is p called Picnic. It's like, it's alright. Oh, that was easy. It's not on in the background. Yeah, they're going crazy, I guess. Because Celeste is here. gonna happen at some point. That's why I got the cable. I got it right here. There we go. Yeah, they're going crazy right now. that golden armor.
All right, someone's visiting. Who's visiting? Ah. They were on my original island. What's up, Sid? I have a voice like this. Alright. It's a one and four. Alright, black or red, never mind, it's 50 50. That's easy. Uh, black. Damn it. <laughs> oh well. Balak. Can't be too annoyed with that. It's just a coin flip. I mean, I didn't start counting them, so would I have gotten 20 by now? There's one more fossil somewhere. Probably got in 20. Man, everyone's here today. Flick's here too. I've never seen it go this crazy. They're just constant. I'll try moving it to low ground. I'm gonna laugh if that's all it was. These are gyroids. Do you know what? <laughs> the thing about leaving a note is I need paper. I don't have paper. Or like a... This, this might sound weird, but I don't have paper. I don't have... A binder or like a notebook or something like all my stuff is digital but to leave a note I would need something to actually be able to leave a note with I'd have to get like an old envelope or something the guide says to do a few laps if they don't show up right away and here I am a week later I mean to be fair I haven't been looking over and over again I don't know like, I have chaotic luck like Someone said that, oh, that purple hyacinth are easy once you get the orange ones. I have a whole field of orange ones, and I've only gotten two in like three months. So every time that something like this happens to me, something... That is insanely lucky also happens. Or I glitch a game or break a game. It's just it's how I am. Oh, it's here. You're gonna make noodle fries. Well, have fun. <laughs> I'm curious. Take a picture of it. Like I wanna I wanna see how exactly they come out. It's definitely piqued my interest, like. Oh, damn it, I forgot what was the thing? There was like some place in Sydney that made these fries that were weird. What were they? I 
forgot they were. But it was like potato fries. But then they put, um... I think they melted gummies over it. They were gummy fries. If I'm not mistaken. It's a real thing, like, not... Not someone trying to troll or whatever. Or make a cursed image. Legitimately, they were selling them at a... A food truck festival thing. I'm pretty sure they were gummy fries. Just normal potato fries, and then they had melted gummy, which was like a rainbow color, on top of them. Of course not. The art I got isn't legit, I don't think. Which one was it even? Oh, the tremendous statue. Let me just check. I'm pretty much I I'm pretty certain that I have it. It's like the thing that's just a tub. Oh, maybe I don't have it. But I think the one I have is fake anyway. I mean, I guess I'll check just in case. Oh, it's the real thing. Okay, well, I almost... I almost brick that and put that away into storage. I thought the, the fake one was the one that was broken, but I guess not. Okay, cool. What is going on? That was like three back to back. Put that up in the bar. We'll see if we have space. I have flickers here as well, so I can sell that stuff to flick. Also get a model. Peck, I just said that my catchphrase is so last week. Okay, uh, it's, it's fine. Did you just say monetizing honk honk? Okay, uh, let's see what bugs I've caught. Or I guess I should see what models I have. So 
So I have moth. Okay, I don't really have many models. Just that one. Uh, we'll get this one, the bird wing. That's a good one to get. Don't get out any of that. A spares. Okay. Oh, I have so many wasps. Oh, well, this will do for now. I can probably stop that now. Mission of peace. Uh, get this one first. Here a balloon is all coming. Money. Damn it. Just trying to face and do the... It fell into the table. Damn it. Oh, this is unfortunate. Alright, what I'm gonna do... This hasn't had any luck for some reason. I don't know why. I'm gonna put this on low ground. What if it's just that? What if it's just because it's up here in the hills it doesn't work? I got a clever idea. This is truly the answer. I'll split it up. I'll put half here and half on the other side. One of them has to work. Better if I warp between the two. I'll be able to get it. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it here. One of these has to work. I'm 
You know, you know that'd be a really funny bait. A funny clickbait would be to arrange this. I have an idea. So like, make it look like I've hit this, and then this is what's come out. <laughs> yes, clickbait. Yeah. Anyway. Click fade aside. Okay, so there's the pipe. If I keep going back and forth like this, will it give me the fly? I've got more trash on the other side over there. I'm curious if this will this will work. Let me get a can. And a tire. Leave it for now, but that's set up anyway. Okay, I'm gonna make an attempt to move stuff now. these signatures can I put them anywhere in here I might have photos here <laughs> I have autographs in the bathroom I mean that to be fair I haven't really decorated much here You know, famous people that have used my, my bathroom. <laughs> oh, that's out of place. This isn't. Not so much. Man, what a fancy bathroom. Oops, don't drop. That should be enough for now. Okay. 
I want to know if this is going to work like I think it will. That's lined up with the other one. I think it is. Okay, and then... Ah, oh, see, I need one more of that kind. That's fine. Yeah, I think this will work. Maybe. Okay, let's say that one's in place. Okay, so then... Yeah, it'll work. It'll work perfectly fine. So I got another one. That one will go there, and then that'll be the entry. Yeah, that worked. I need to get a fridge out. It looks good. It looks like a courtyard. one layout change I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot to take a fridge out. I have one. Uh, yeah. Oh no, there's this one. There's a standard one. Okay. I don't think I need to do that anymore. Okay, I need to order... I've already got that one. Uh, where is it? It's like somewhere towards the bottom. I'll just grab the item to see what it's called. Wait, really? I'm just gonna grab it. <laughs> what is this called? 
Medieval building site. Okay. the others open for now. Let's see how I go today. And then otherwise I'll order more simple panels. Yeah, so the change I'm making I'm just gonna ignore those now. Um, the change I'm making now is all the trees are gonna be on this side. I just need that one piece now. That's almost done. I think I can ignore the stars now. I feel like I've gotten at least 20. Let me take a look indoors. Did I change my hair? No, it's a wig. I was selling a wig. Fake hair. Just figured it looked like a lad, you know? I went for the football jersey. But the pants and footwear, admittedly, isn't very lad-like. Oh. Hello, Scorpion. what you want at the venue. Yeah, football. Gonna go absolutely mental for football. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're not like that here. Yeah, let me have a look around and see if there's anything that might be missing in this. Just look at each room individually. I'm pretty certain I'm done with indoors, but you never know. I mean, okay, maybe an air conditioning unit. Circulator, Wait, what's it called? Uh, it might be split 
air conditioning, like split system. No? What? Have I never... Have I never found one of these? I guess I haven't. Go to wall hangings. No, but the other thing is I, I probably just haven't found one. I guess I'll have to order one through Happy Home. Yeah, I don't think I've, I've found one. Okay, well, I'll order that through Happy Home. Other than that, I don't really see anything else I would want in here. That's the only thing I would say would be missing from here is just air conditioning. Is my register backwards? Uh, maybe. No. Yes, no. Yeah, it is. The barcode scanner is facing the other way. Whoops, not that. There we go. Unless it's self-serve, then it's facing the correct way. But it is not self-serve. I muted. I guess I was, huh? Um, the register was backwards, yes. Sorry, I'll fix it later and post. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't really say much. Garden gnome. I'm getting two of these. It just gets muted to- it just gets muted to OBS. I mean, the stream. Oh, not like OBS. That's alright. I didn't answer the question about the names. Okay, well, now you can hear it. They are security. Wait, did I answer your question about the register then? Alright, so I wasn't really muted for long. Did I just accidentally press the button? I must have. I must have accidentally pressed the... The button. I got like a macro setup on it. I'll check it out later. Maybe I don't have to do anything. It was when I was in the music room. Oh, well then, that's fine. That doesn't need editing. Yeah, I must have accidentally pressed the macro. My bad. Yeah, they're in every room. <laughs> I 
I don't think I need anything else. So I picked up two gnomes. For outside. They're my security. Air conditioning units I guess I can get through Happy Home. Or I can order one and then order the rest through normal means. Okay, so... I'm just gonna go for simple panels then. Because I still need some. going. Now I should check all my registers <laughs> and see if they're correct. That's correct. That's correct. This is correct. Oh, I haven't done this yet. Did you make your, uh, your fries? What'd I do that for? Wait, not that. Almost made a mistake. That's what I was trying to do. I guess while I'm here... This is good. Now that I have three, it should be a lot easier to get them. What is going on? It is going absolutely crazy with the shooting stars. Alright, like I've gotten as many as I need now. It's just. I don't think I've ever seen it go this crazy shooting them. So, this is what I did set up a pipe. And on either end, there is garbage. So then I don't have to run from one side of the island to the other. I can kind of just do this. And then hopefully that works. Though, where this is right now, it might scare them. Let's put a... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I think I'm just unlucky. Okay, let me get rid of the stuff I don't need. Not that. I 
I mean, okay, at this point, the yellow mums aren't really necessary anymore now that we have. We've sorted green. I was trying to grow more hybrid purple, but now I don't think that's even necessary anymore. So I can reallocate this. keep them, but I'm not going to water them anymore. I guess the same go for these. Like, I don't really need these anymore because now I do have purple ones they're appearing pretty reliably so these can go that's fine I needed to move that anyway have like a whole field of these orange ones and just somehow only two purple ones have appeared. anymore either it's just the roses now Do a neat arrangement up here. Just gotta finish this. I don't know. The blue ones just still won't appear. I think that's it. I think I've watered everything I need to water. It's pretty much just down to these now. I need to put anything away. Uh, no, just sell. Okay. already been an hour <laughs> I feel like the clock struck seven not too long ago okay
the verdict is, is in they were ass. <laughs> but. Wait, did, did you do that on purpose? Like you said ass and then but afterwards? Is this one of these... Is this one of these TikTok recipes or... Just something that's gone viral that they try to... The, it's the video that's making them look good, but then when people actually make them, they're just horrible. They do very nice video editing and they just make it look more appetizing than what it is. Put it flick go. Your air fryer doesn't reach its temperature, it says. Hmm. That can have an impact. But I guess, what was it that made them bad? Was it... Because if it was just a matter of, like, maybe the texture wasn't correct, then sure. But if it was if it was a thing of flavor itself, I don't know. I'm not sure them being cooked any different would change that. That outcome. Probably grab these. They were chewy. I think they needed to go for another two minutes. Okay, so it was more of a texture thing than their flavor. Yeah, I don't know. They sound. It sounds like an odd idea, but. You also forgot that they added parmesan before the air fryer. So what, are you going to try again? Is it worth having another try at it? Or is it something where you're like, oh, maybe not. Too much effort? Okay. I suppose you're right when you can just get like a bag of fries and just put them in your air fryer. I mean, that's the thing, it's pasta, like it can't be that much healthier than the bag of fries. Is, is it just trying to be different? Noodles are way less calorie than stuff. Well, what? I guess, yeah. Depends what kind of noodles. You know what? It's no different because here they do snacks where it's instant ramen and then they just have the flavor sachet and it's just crumbled and then you shake it and you just eat the ramen like that. Like a, like a snack. I bet it's probably like that. If you end up making too much pasta for your sauce, it's worth making the pasta chips. Right. Okay. Oops. You don't let me do it. Yeah, I don't know. I would just put it in the fridge and, like... If you have too much pasta, then just fridge it and do something with it. Like, you can do, like, a pasta salad or something. I, it wouldn't occur to me to try and make chips with it. I'd probably try to do like a salad or something.
You know, people who do keto on veggie pasta, it would make a fantastic alternative to regular potato chips. Okay. I guess. I mean, I'm sure there's, there's like a, a use case for it. That's just... I think... In general, most people... It would be just to try something that you probably saw in the video, more than being practical. You ruined it by seasoning it in the dark. <laughs> uh, probably didn't help. Uh, okay, well I'm gonna go to Daily Island now. Because I'm still looking for that golden armor recipe. Whilst Catman is doing his song, I'm going to pour myself some mango iced tea. Because it is very warm here today, so I'm going to get myself a cool drink. You didn't know garlic and onion seasoning could burn. <laughs> yeah, it can. Anyway, whilst he's singing, getting my tea. This tea is good. Okay. It's okay, like, we all try stuff. We try to cook things and everyone messes up, even the professionals, you know? My mistake as of late <laughs> was when I tried to put eggnog in instant pancake mix. That, that's, yeah. That was funny. And just... <sighs> multitude of problems. Don't do it. Ow. Well, that's not good. Um, I guess it's gonna depend if I can... Did you not... If you wanna laugh, go on... If you haven't seen the video already, go on Discord and scroll up till, till about Christmas time. You'll see the video of me making it. <laughs> or try attempting to make it, like... Just the three stages of the disaster, the mixing stage... Well, okay, the point in time, which I thought I messed up. Then when I tried to fix it, and thought I fixed it, and then the cooking part where it just was even worse. And just how it got stuck to the spatula so badly that... Like, even smacking it against the skillet wouldn't do anything. But you only make that mistake once. More egg than nog. But it was- but the thing was... So what I poured, it's classified as a milk beverage. It's classified as a milk beverage. That's the thing. I don't think it's proper eggnog. Because we don't really do eggnog here. 
We don't really do eggnog here. I don't know. Maybe there was something in the mix, because the mix said to just add water. So I figured, oh, well, if this is a milk beverage, then I guess adding milk should be good. So maybe the... F oh, man, I made the wrong thing. Maybe the fact that I... I, uh... I added something that was effectively milk to something that it instructed me to add water, but I don't know. Never tried pancake mix with milk. Well, I thought it would be fine. But I guess that's the thing with baking is like, I admire bakers. Because when it comes to cooking, right, cooking's fine, generally speaking. If you make a mistake in terms of flavor, you can do stuff to it that balances it out, you know? Like if something's too sweet, you do something acidic and vice versa. There's like a way... Unless you completely burn it, which even then, it takes a bit of effort to do that. Like, you have to really not be watching what you're doing. But with baking, it's like, you can mess up at the process of preparing your ingredients. You can mess up at the process of baking. And it's a case of the moment you mess up, it's you just start again. It's just you can't fix it, generally speaking. With, there's a few exceptions where you can, but that's the thing with baking is like, it's such a science that you can't, r there's not really much room for error. So because I guess pancakes is like along that those lines, I guess I did something where it was just unsalvageable. Your boyfriend once mistook lemon juice for vanilla. It was concentrate. Oh no. I mean, at what point did he realize? <laughs> it probably wasn't too bad, because with vanilla, you're not, you're not supposed to put too much in it anyway. So luckily, you know, it could have been worse. If you mistook it for an ingredient that you're supposed to put copious amounts of it, then it would have been bad, but... When he ate it, he tried gaslighting you saying there were no lemons. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. That's... That's just the old, like, I haven't made a mistake. Have you seen Better Call Saul? Anyway, one of the characters is convinced... He's convinced he never makes a mistake. And he goes absolutely crazy in one scene. He's like, no, I got it right! It's the year after Magna Carta! <laughs> he just keeps repeating the number. And it's just like, dude's gone insane. To be fair, he didn't get he didn't get it wrong. They just did something to make him get it wrong. So anyway. Lemon concentrate, so it was very strong. Okay. But but I guess the thing is when you're using vanilla, you're not like the recipes I've followed for vanilla extract. It's, you don't, you put very minimal amounts of it as well, because putting a lot of vanilla can mess up the flavor, so it's like, even if it was lemon concentrate, I mean, what was he making that he would put a, l what was he making that would put a lot of vanilla extract in the first place, you know? Cheesecake? Huh. That's pretty funny, though. I mean, well, lemon cheesecake sounds good, but if you overdo the lemon, it would probably be bad. Yeah, the fact that the vanilla was excluded amplified the lemon. Yeah, I think you're right. Because the, there wasn't anything to counteract it. 
you know what it was? Because it's cheesecake, cheesecake's generally pretty tart to begin with. And you have to balance it with sweetness, so it's just a tartness squared. That's what happened. It wasn't bad, just not your kind of thing, but it was very obviously lemon flavored when he insisted it wasn't. <laughs> You had to pull out the extract to prove that it was. The only mistake I've had, and it wasn't even my fault. As a teenager, I had this this bottle, this glass bottle, that I uh, I filled with water and put it in the fridge. So then, when I would come home from work, like from my fast food job, I'd get home and I just would just slam whatever was in it. So whether that was cold water or like juice. Whatever. So, you know, I filled it up with juice one night. Went to work, came back, it was really late. Go to the fridge, open it, and pull out the bottle. And just drink, like, just drink it as quick as I can. And, uh... It was, what ended up happening was my mom filled up a very similar bottle with, uh with oil, like an olive oil. So it was like a quite a bit of olive oil that I drank. <laughs> Not a lot, but enough to be like, oh no, like it was, it was a horrible experience. But the bottles were basically identical. And because I pl had placed it in a spot, I just grabbed the bottle that was there and so my mom moved my bottle from where it was and put the bottle of oil there. It doesn't have a sense of taste or smell, so you couldn't tell anything was wrong. Okay. But then, at the point at which you're saying that it tastes like lemons, I guess... Insisting that there isn't lemons. Yeah, those stars have been going off all night. I don't need to get more of them. It was peak COVID, so he kept saying you had COVID. <laughs> what? But that makes no sense. Covid doesn't make you taste lemons. It's not how Covid works. <laughs> He's very defensive about his baking skills. That's funny. I know, I know quite quite a few people like that. They like will die on a hill until you you pull out. A piece of evidence that's like irrefutable that they've messed up, and even then they try to come up with an excuse. <laughs> Not you. Never. <laughs> well, I didn't mean you, but. I swear to God, Will, if you just put out garbage and do laps around the island, you're gonna get a fly. Like, I, 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 I swear. There's got to be stars in the background. There's got to be a full moon. It's got to be a Tuesday night. Okay, I'll stop. Hey, go to the go to the temple. Go to the temple. The temple, yeah. Hey, 
I think the one that still makes me laugh is, is the Blood Moon one. That that was just like perfect. You're telling me that the Blood Moon has leniency in Zelda, so if something is a certain distance away from you, it just won't spawn, even if there's a Blood Moon. And then, you know, something spawns directly inside of Link. Like we were basically touching. That one was 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 great. I didn't die, yeah, because I play games and, and I can defend myself. And the other person would have died to that laser beam. Okay, I gotta look for the furniture now. I've seen these stars happen, but this is, it's like one every few seconds. Still haven't seen these crafting today, so let's just look around. I was saying people that won't give up until you have a piece of irrefutable evidence. I was referring to family and also some people I knew in high school. Just, I mean, one of the ones that comes to mind is like the time my uncle tried to put a a lock on the door to his bedroom. So he thought, oh, let's just get a lock that is intended for the front door of a house and try to bolt it into an inside door. So, the entire time I was telling him, hey, listen, there's a difference between outdoor and inside doors. He was like, don't worry. And he put it together. He opened his door. It looked like it was good. It looked like it worked. And then the moment he closed the door, the handles just fall off on both ends. And he just has, well, on one end, the lock was, the lock mechanism was engaged. So he couldn't get it off. He couldn't open it again. So he had to go... ...break into his own bedroom through the window. To get back into the house. Well, back into his bedroom. Or like... Ah, uh, he used to go on chat rooms back in the day, and there was once my cousin and, you know, one of his friends were over, and he was talking about, like, how he was chatting up some girl, and so he calls us over to the computer. We are sitting there, and, you know, it looks like he is, and then this... Supposed girl sends him a photo and the whole message pops up where it's like, so-and-so is trying to send you a file. So I look at the thing and pop up and I'm like, hey, that's that's not a photo, that's a virus. Because it, it, it has like a the uh, SCR file extension, which is like, well, that's not a photo, clearly. He's like, nah, she's sending me a photo, don't worry. He opens it, computer crashes. Yep. How much older is my uncle? Uh, he's like 10 years older than me. Something like that. Like... Yeah, around about that. Because when I was a little kid, he was a teenager. And when I was a teenager, he was in his early 20s. So, yeah. Something like that. Or mid-20s. But it was, it was funny. 
did have to fix the computer, but the entire time I was giving him crap over it. Oh, thank you for the follow, Bumble. Yeah. It wasn't until the computer just was obviously broken that he admitted it wasn't a photo. I think I need that. Alright. Let me keep going back to looking for the furniture. I got my recipe now, so... find flick and sell this stuff once I'm done. that flies don't spawn during events. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's just... You're just trying to, like, make it sound... You could just easily default to it's just my fault. It's just I... I'm just unlucky. Well, just because, like, I got three things happening on the island... I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm not getting any flies. I bet I can find an answer. I just haven't looked. I've just been trusting the whole time. Like, okay. I'm sure the information I'm being given is correct and not without any mistakes. Or with mistakes, sorry. Sorry, Alice. Uh-oh. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, Alice? Do you wanna... Do you wanna move? You kind of have a, uh... A hive inside of you right now. You know what? Flies Animal Crossing. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look it up. How to catch a fly at Animal Crossing. Okay. The other recommendation that I read is like, if you do Mystery Island Tour and go fishing, sometimes there's only trash, and then you can just drop the trash on the island, and that's like a way to pretty much guarantee it. But I haven't read anything different, like... 
I'm not doing anything... I'm not doing anything different with this. They should just be flying around and then they should stop on the trash and you should be able to catch it. Which trees haven't I checked? Partition. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I would do anything with this. This might be a neat way to like just split this up a little. And then, because I got plenty of these, I can just put this. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I just wanna get rid of the dirt. Scare non flies away, there's a limit to bugs. I've been trying to do that, yeah. good. Just a little bit of extra detail. Some said trash from- someone said trash from storage won't work. What? How does it know? Everyone else is saying turnips work way better, but it does attract ants, though. Wait, I don't need that many. I'm supposed to just fish up trash now? It might explain it. I mean, it would make sense, I guess. I mean, you would think the wiki would say something like that about it. For that part, it's like citation required.
Take the shock. Hey, Scoot. Well, I mean, Sunday is coming up. Wikis tend to be general and inclusive to all the Animal Crossings. You say that, but then there was the one wiki that told me that sweet fish in the Southern Hemisphere appear in December. And then there was another wiki that said January. And then there was a third wiki that said December. And then there was a fourth wiki that said January. And so... <laughs> I wasted my time in December when it, the answer was January. Where did Flick go? It happened to me once, but now, with everything, I have to get, like, a second opinion. I have to do extensive research. Peer, peer review. Well, other than trying... Other than trying... Catch fish, I guess I should leave this. That beetle is pretty rare. I guess I should do more fishing then. Anyway, for now. I haven't done this in a while. It's like buying an online thing. Can't buy the thing with no reviews, no matter how simple it is. Uh, there's certain things you would be able to buy, like things that already have an established reputation. Or things that, from personal experience, you already trust and you don't really need someone to tell you it. Oh my god, again? I have run into you, this is like, six times now. I guess we'll see what the theme is, but like, it almo it's almost like Colton, it's, it's like, faded encounters at this point. But Colton, I will, I will put Colton on a garbage island, I'm, I'm not even joking. After what he did in New Leaf. He's going to end up on Garbage Island. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I've crafted all the cardboard recipes. And whatever item he's asking for, I'm going to put it behind some bars in a lock. <laughs> so... Whatever he's ordered will go behind bars. And then it'll just be trash everywhere.
if he wants any of those items, he can pay five times the cost. Because he likes doing things like that, like talking about things that cost five times their value. Hey, Will, want to buy this item off me for five times what I paid for it? Wait, you will? Okay. Can't believe you said yes. Shoe boxes. Maybe. I mean, if I want to set up some sort of store, maybe. Not about exchange rate either, so. Uh, the yacht is still very expensive, like... I'm gonna order an e a single air conditioner. 56,000! What?! 56,000 dollar dudes! Just kidding. <laughs> um, well I guess I'll- I'll order one. Do I- uh, do I want- But I want to keep saving for the yacht. I feel like this is the sort of thing that I'll just find, I don't know. How much is the yacht? This is a waste of pokey. Yacht, where is it? Two hundred- nah, I'm going for the yacht. Because the yacht is much rarer. As much as I want an air, con air conditioners for the venue, we'll back in the wait. Oh, the patient ward. Um, we might do it. I might just do a standard build first. We'll see what themes are available today. If there's not a good theme, then I'll do the the ward. A place that reminds you of back home. Where would back home be? Field Day Superstar, Rock and Roll, Humble, Construction Job Site, Adventures. The Spaceship? I mean, it might be something futuristic, I guess. We can look at it. Depends what else is here. Um... Prairie winds. Pet? Oh, that one might win because I want the doghouse and this one might give me the doghouse. A hut on a big mountain with fresh air. I think the pet one might win. Let's see who's in the cafe. It's 
a cool moose. Or deer. Is it a deer? I don't know. We don't have animals with antlers in Australia. Kitchen. Futon. Hotel style. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably go with the pet one. Hmm. Nothing interesting. They don't visit... New people don't visit the hospital. It's just... Existing ones. Yeah, I think the pet one's gonna win just because I want the... The house. Um, maybe I'll do a two-story one today. Nutty. <laughs> Pet Blushy Palace. Yeah, probably that one. I don't think one that has... ...like kills in it makes a lot of sense. They don't really... I'm kind of running out. This one's not bad as well. I might go this one. We'll do this one. Nutty! <laughs> Alright. Two. Two stories. I'm gonna go 10 minutes outside. So let me just get the timer out. Okay, 10 minutes start now. Go as quick as I can. for now. Oh 
don't worry, this is just laying out the rough idea first. Fine. This is gonna look a little weird, maybe, with this, but we'll see. Oh, it does that. That's kind of neat. Makes it diagonal. Try not to spend too much time on this, but just gotta add enough to make it look varied. some furniture out. What has she got on order? Okay, well. Let's do this. 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 Okay, so they want a scene of these. See what I can do. Oops, I did the wrong thing. Getting there. <laughs> okay, a bench here. Yeah. Oh, blue. Oh, you can't put it there. That sucks. Alright, in that case, do that. I'm curious if I can put these on the chairs. You can't. They have to be stools. It's a hard restriction. But what we can do... This will definitely work. Flowers. Okay, tough arrangement, but I got it.
Sure. <laughs> I tried. I'm not overthinking it. Okay, what else have we got? I got three minutes. actually nice. Place it, make it different. I need a source of music. I gotta hurry. I don't have much time left. Really? No room? Alright. Where's the portable ones? They're probably further down. Oh, definitely want that. Give me that. I want, I want that. I want to buy one of those. Um. Oh, you're kidding. Did I go past them? I don't know who they are. No, okay, leave it. Some steaks just to separate things. Okay, I need something to eat. Yeah, these will do. Okay. I got 30 seconds remaining. Now it's just changing colors where I feel like it. Yeah, let's just go blue. Okay, that is time, but I don't want that blue bear. <laughs> bear. Alright, not bad. Wait, you can't even... Oh, I can't even get to this bench. Oh, yes, I can't. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I was worried for a sec. I mean, okay, there's probably other things I could have placed, but I think this this works. Not bad. For ten minutes, I mean. I did what I could. Alright, indoors. So, with this I get 20. Per floor. I just need to set up the room size first. Oh 
open this stuff up. I didn't use any of this outside, so I have to use it all in here. Okay, 20 minutes. Start now. What new flooring have I got? Those. Yeah, that's it. All right. Maybe that. And walls. Count other way around. There we go. But then I want... Okay. Sorry. Too much red and it's contrast. Yeah, that's probably fine. these typical divisions I do. That'll do. Okay. That's room set up. Okay. Lighting. Do one of these. Oops. Okay. There are certain things that I reuse, ideal wise. this. Okay, it's lighting. Now, floor divisions. Mm, too big. That's better. ones. It's the one. Oops. <laughs> Duplicated the birds. My bad. Okay. 
Okay, now... I guess we'll go with this. This is just setting up the kitchen now. But I think I, oh yeah, I can't do like an L shape. Do hang on, put that together. Okay, yeah, that's roughly set up. Okay. Get a bunch of homewares out now. Suppose I need to put these around the place, so Let's go with that. Oh, there's a sloppy sofa. Ugh. No. No, they clapped at the sloppy sofa. <laughs> Put doggo here. Okay, I know exactly what I'm gonna get for that. Alright. Uh, so for the bedroom, two end tables. Um, a console table. I haven't used this before. That's a low table, though, not a bed. What do we need for a bed? I might do, like, a little study thing. Hey, Star, how's it going? How's things? I might use that sofa. Hang on. Things are okay. How am I? Doing alright. Happy that the week's over. Bed. Had like funny thing with dinner. <laughs> Cause I wasn't sure what time I was gonna wrap up work, I decided to order food. So they messed it up twice. So the first time, like, I don't know what happened, the delivery driver was just dodgy, I guess. And just decided to just not deliver. So, the second time, the delivery dude delivered, but then I ordered a pizza. I got the pizza wrong, but then I also did the thing where you can do, like, a second order and it doesn't charge you anything extra for the delivery. So I needed a couple things, and I wasn't sure when I'd be able to go get them from the grocery store. And I got... That wrong too. So the dude turned up to two different places, picked up the wrong order both times. So I got a free pizza and I have beef jerky, a four pack of energy drinks, and a twin pack of candy bar, I guess. So it was free, so I'm happy about it. Just like two hours I had to wait. Oh yeah, we need more of this stuff as well. Oh, that's a big... The big one might go in the bedroom. The big one might go in the bedroom. Let's reserve that for it. It makes sense. Um, three is even better. Yeah, I can't complain. But I just don't know how the dude would have gotten that wrong twice. Where is fridge and stuff? I've probably gone past fridge. Fridge, where is fridge? Okay, there we go. This is the kitchen stuff that I missed out on. So we're gonna go with the simple kitchen. Where's the fridge? I've got there's so much stuff now. It's, I wish I could search for it. 
for that. Uh, that one. Better than general appliances. We want... Like, down the bottom somewhere. I'm just getting stuff out. Hey, where are the appliances? Oh, this is housewares, no wonder. That's why this was confusing me. I wasn't looking at the list of everything. There we go. Post uh, that mixer and that, and we'll see how we go. All right, time to start laying stuff out. Okay. Whoops. Okay, microwave. Actually, no. Microwave over here. Uh, poster over here. I'm just thinking about practicality. Mixer. Blender. Not easy. Um, yeah. That's better. Uh, I don't know. I think I like the other one better. I thought I was going to use these, but I don't think I need them now. Hmm, nah. Okay, this here. This up the back here. I'll go bed here. Little chair there. Bed there. Um, maybe? Okay, now. Oh, there's still a matter of this. Alright, that's fine. Can put that here. There's still room. This here. Okay. Six minutes. That's fine like that. Oh, this is facing the wrong way. There we go. I just noticed the pictures the other way. Okay. Alright, go back to the top. It's all more to do. Oops, the wrong color. It's okay. There we 
go. Okay. Um, what? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And toilet. this come in to green where's curtain isn't it usually at the top Uh oh. Where's curtain? Separator, curtain, anything. Okay, there we go. Um, but... Then this is kind of in the way. Okay, but the easiest way to fix it is just to do that. Or eh, down. It's kind of in a dumb spot. It'd be nice if it were there. design and engineering. I'm trying. It's like setting myself a time limit. Okay, now there's, there's a way to solve this. It's just... It's cool. Other, other way. Other way. Do this. There we go. Solved. Now, all that's left is wall stuff, so I've got two minutes to do wall stuff. Okay, the important one is shower head. This, just put it there. Okay, inside this room. Home design has a feng shui I can't, that you can't achieve. I mean, this, is just, this just comes from me knowing graphic design. It's just, I know what colors to pick and... This is almost like mental exercises for me. It's just to stay on my toes for designing. It's just making decisions quickly and not hesitating too much. I'm trying to make things look nice at the same time. Oh, that's a small one. Big one, big one, big one, big one. A little bit higher. Clock. Put that in the kitchen. Put a phone in the kitchen as well, because why not? Okay, uh, along this wall, just do this. 30 seconds to go. I'll make a game out of it. Ah, eh, just one. No, it's not gonna fit. Get rid of it. Uh... Okay, hold on. It's gonna bother me if I have it like that. Ah, 
All right, that's time. It's not bad. Do I visualize it before I start? Uh, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to explain. Like. So the theme is a the theme is given, and then I think about like the items that are gonna go with it. But then, some of it is I guess having a picture in my head, and then some of it is just because, as I'm going, I see something, and then immediately like I know what to do with it. I don't know. Okay, I'm just fixing little things now. I'm not adding more, but like this is facing the wrong way. What made me pink? Pick pink. Well, I went with the villager's color. The villager is like, you know, red, white, and a little bit of blue. So the colors try to be complementary to that. You know, because the, this carpet was yellow, I picked more yellows and things closer to brown. That's cool. So I got kitchen, I got living room, and I got a bedroom. I don't know. It's, it's really just difficult to explain it. But you do. It's like with anyone that does anything that's creative. Whether it be, like, graphic design or if they're making something, it's just, at a certain point, you kind of have this... You, you have the ball rolling, and then it's kind of hard to stop, and you just keep going from one thing to the next, and... I don't know. I get told that I have a look in my eye when I'm, like, designing shit. Like, I become very focused at it. Okay, so this is all set up. Alright, I'm gonna continue. So, 20 minutes upstairs as well. Okay, and go. I'll probably do the same flooring upstairs. Okay, and um, then... I kind of forgot what I did for wallpaper. I think it was this one. Now we'll do, like, another wall type as a feature wall. Like that. You have to know the secret to design. Well, a lot of it is practice. Some of it is knowing rules, like what colors to pick and what colors not to pick. And some of it is just innate, like everyone has the capability to do it. I'll get rid of the windows. Like, there are people that say they don't have an imagination. It's just... Everyone has an imagination. Everyone's creative. It's just... Practicing it. That's all it is. Okay, so that's fine. No, they aren't. Do you want me to prove it to you? I can prove it. I've... I've done talks where, like, I prove that even the most technical people are creative. Not yet. I'll prove it later. Like, after this is done, because I'm on the clock right now. I'm not going to stop this midway. Hey, Lola, how's it going, man? What's the time? At 20... I got 20 minutes. So, this is like the little challenge I set myself is... I set myself a time limit and I try to design as much as I can within the scope of that time, so...
Wait, that doesn't sit flush, really? Okay, never mind. Thought it did. Uh, let's go with that and that. Shit has been non stop bananas, have I been? Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of the same for me in November and early December, but then had break and just it was good to get a mental reset just because of the, the move and everything. Yeah, this year I'm trying to make a bit more time where I'm not streaming. But I'm not doing Mondays and Tuesdays anymore unless I feel like it. my filling time with well just I guess sometimes it's just not doing anything after work but then you know just personal self-care shit I feel like I've been neglecting since COVID that, but we'll figure it out. Okay, um... Is that filled? Not yet. There we go. Alright, that's all sorted. This is gonna be like a dining area. The other thing is, like, if you see stuff that you see me do, that you like, like, steal the idea. <laughs> Adapt it. Sometimes creativity is about seeing what other people do and then you trying to do it yourself and adapting to it. Sounds like a good thing, Kyle, to me. Been trying to do the same in a lot of aspects. Yeah. Yeah. Just... I mean, I don't usually talk about my personal life too much, but... It's just... You know, lately I've, I've been feeling like I should... Just... Try and... I guess get to... A pull... Well... How do, how do I want to phrase this? Like, I'm not trying to get back what I used to have. It's more just... Before COVID happened, there were a bunch of things that I was aiming for life-wise. And I guess I kind of put them on hold just because the whole pandemic thing was rough. So... Just... You know, trying to get back to that. But also, just... I want to do more content creation. I, and I had been. Like... You know, making videos and shit. That isn't just me streaming. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, chairs, 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 chairs. Yeah, these will do. Oh, it only gets two colors, never mind. For sure, you've been trying to do the same with your music lately, trying to keep the passion alive. Yeah, man. I feel ya. Oh, it's a matching chair, cool. Also, just trying to do things a little more socially as well. Oops. Um, I just realized that yeah, I want a four-seater, but the way these work, which is a little annoying, but you can only do it this way. 
Because otherwise it's not functional, you can't step into them. Like, it has to be like this. So then you step in that way. There we go. That's fine now. The move went smoothly. Yeah. Oh, well, it was very tiring. But man, it was it was the right call. I I dodged a couple bullets by moving. I mean, to cut a long story short, the place didn't sell. The dude went back to trying to rent it, and now he's trying to rent it at a way more expensive price than what I'm currently paying, and. Also, he changed real estate agents that were managing the property, and the ones that are managing it, I've had them before, and they are just very annoying to deal with. Like, they're very picky. So, bullet dodged. other stuffed animals are there. I'm looking for a specific thing. No, I mean, I moved at the end of last year, so it was like end of November. So the, all, the end result, if I would have waited, would have been I'd be paying more rent, I'd be back with a real estate agent that I didn't like that was just very picky and wanted inspections constantly and just everything had to be perfect. Like, beyond perfect. Unreasonably perfect. And the rent would have gone up by like another 300 bucks, so... I... I dodged. I dodged a massive bullet. I probably would have, would have had to have moved in December. Where is this? There's like a... A china hutch. Or a cabinet. I gotta hurry, I've got like 10 minutes. Why am I not seeing this cabinet that I'm looking for? Okay, let's just forget about that. Find it when I find it. Um, hang on. Gotta focus on this for a minute. Ah, uh, but yeah, dude, like, you <laughs> should do some Baldur's Gate at some point, if you're not busy. Like, I'm kind of keen to keep playing that game. It's a lot of fun. Um, hang on. Oh, like, I've kind of slowed down a lot. Table in front of this thing. Can't for the life of me find this thing that I'm looking for. Getting substitutes for now. I'm just filling it with things. I don't understand how how I have lost this thing. Okay. 
Okay, well, let's just go with more plants. Oh, that's a weird thing. It's probably not bad. Get this. It's pro I think I know where it is. Honestly, wouldn't surprise me. gonna be down here. I bet it's gonna be down here. It's usually with these other ones that go, they're like wall separators. Okay, I'm giving giving time. You think about Ori all the time. Have some extra time lately. Unfortunately, it's to be spent looking for a new job again. Oh, you're changing jobs? Yeah, it's understandable, man. I'm wasting so much time looking for this thing. You know what? That'll work. It's just... I wanted something that looks like it holds, like, China. That will do. Till further notice. I swear there was one that... Ugh, that... Alright, you know what? That's fine. Still works. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. We're back on track. Okay, now delete. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. Replacement rug. Good five by five one. That one. That works. Okay, put everything back. I need to hurry up. Uh, let's do that. Okay, now quickly do some lights. Okay, 
I gotta stick to the same lighting, so this is gonna be tough. quickly. Be enough time. Just 30 seconds left. Um, air conditioner. Just making sure I don't have like too many things missing from this. Okay, I mean, I think that's all I can do for now. There's like 10 seconds left. One thing I'm gonna fix. Let's just put this in the middle here. That's it. Is this functional? Okay, this is not functional, but what I can do... I'll make it functional. Rota rotate it that way. Lower it. Just minor adjustment. That should be functional. It's functional. Alright, good enough. Yeah, the clock light on the floor. Like, I just touch things up at the end. Alright, not bad. There's a lot of seating in this house. <laughs> the lighting alignment, eh, eh. <laughs> it's fine. I think I like downstairs better. Downstairs is better. This is better. This is where the tour should be done. This is better. Impressed with how coherent that is considering how quickly I did it. Yeah, I mean, again, it's just practice. It's just the more you do something, the better you get at it. This one's alright. It's not my best. I can show my best one. Downstairs is well thought out though. Yeah. I like downstairs a lot. Downstairs worked well. Upstairs... That's... There's a part of it where I... Like, the lights are not really aligned as well, but... That's fine. This one... This one worked out. I 
That's alright, that's where the challenge lies, is I just have to try and do things quickly. Without overthinking and just making it work. I mean, see, there's a space I could have put something there, but, eh. So yeah, what's my best one? There are two in particular, well, maybe three. I'll visit them so you can see them. Announcement? I suppose it's nothing too surprising, but I'm pleased to announce that the venue is ready. We went all out and put up decorations all over the place. I think folks will really enjoy them. Thanks for all your help, Nico. It'd also be nice to have some music to make the event really pop. That reminds me, Wardle. Didn't you say you know someone in the music biz? Any chance they could handle the music at the venue? Leave it to me. Continue your excellent work on vacation homes. It shouldn't be long before we get permission to work on the next facility. Yeah, what is Gather Town? I haven't heard of it. It's one build every time. Halfway to that yacht. <laughs> Um, anyway, when you get to a... Basically the reason you left the job was because the manager was a dick. I missed that. So, it's alright, man. Just means that you're on your way to the next thing. As corny as that might sound, it's best if you don't like something, just to get out of there when you can. Okay, uh, my best one, so this is one of them. The ones that I consider the best are the ones that I'm happy with on the outside and on the inside. So, this is one of them. It's pretty nice out here. So that was 10 minutes outside, and each floor here is, is uh, 20, so. It's like a throne room sort of thing. Yeah, like an oasis place, you know? Is upstairs. Why is the light flickering? The fuck? Is that a glitch? That shouldn't be happening. Okay, one of the lights is broken. Don't know why. <laughs> it's definitely on YouTube. Like one of the later ones. I have been editing them so, like, it time lapses them and does a speed version of it. Just, I, you know, I haven't gotten around to the later ones. I want to see how well those videos do. If they do well, I'll do all of them, but for now I've only put out one and I've edited the other two. But yeah, that's, that's this one. This one I'm happy with. Except for that flickering light, like, why? I'm not sure what's going on there, like... That's weird. I wasn't doing that before. Excuse me. It's like a virtual social- wait, a virtual space social app made by companies doing remote work. Little avatars. Started using it to have your village with your own little houses in touch. Huh. Yeah, I haven't heard of it. So that's, yeah, this one, I really like this one. 
So that's one of them. Unfortunately, I can't just head to the next one. Yeah, I wish I could just go from one island to the other. This is a lot, but it's okay. Oh, they have... I just realized, okay, they have lights everywhere now. Oh, yeah, okay. It's neat. Oh, there's actually a few, man. That one's got a good outside. But I would say... Where is it? Wait, where is it? I probably passed it a couple times. What? Oh, there. Jeez. You found that Tabasco? Did you try it? Okay, this one, the jungle theme. So I went with an ape and a monkey, so it's like, you know, bootleg Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. So instead of bananas, they like peaches. It's Louis, Louis Kong. This is the outside. The outside's alright. But the inside, this one's really good. 20 minutes for this one as well. 10 minutes outside, 20 minutes per floor. So, yeah, it's functional. They have like a re retro TV to match the Donkey Kong Country vibe to it. Again, worshipping the peach. <laughs> Again, the light... Maybe it's because I have too many light sources and it just causes them to flicker. But I, I mean, flickering here gives it an aesthetic. And then the split bedroom with uh, a shared portable here. So, I think it works pretty nice. How did I choose those colors for outdoors as an example? Well... Let me look at outdoors. To be honest, sometimes it's just I pick a color and I know what two other colors to pick with. You know? And I do it very quickly. So, like, I would have gone with the dude has a blue top on. So the color that complements blue is purple. And then I went with black as, like, just a third color that is, like, well, black can go with anything. I would imagine that was my train of thought, but I would have done that, like, just on the fly without really thinking about it. When it comes to color, it's just you pick one color and then you kind of know what colors go with that color. And it might be weird to say, but that's just something that comes with practice. Alright, and then... The last house that I like is the one that I did for Pascal.
Was that a peach on the pedestal? Yeah, you know how Donkey Kong has a banana horde? So he has bananas everywhere? So they like peaches. So they have peaches everywhere. Because there's no bananas in this game. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, let's go with peaches. They like peaches. You do what you can with what you're given. So, I mean, this one's exterior is, like, very cheap and minimal. You know, it's just... An outdoor kitchen. You know, just surfing stuff and, you know, it's just whatever. Nothing major. But on the inside, I think this is probably the most functional house I've gotten in terms of what it has. So, you know, the dude has a place where he mixes music. Lounge area to chill. Dining area. Kitchen. And, uh, what, 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 did I, what did I do upstairs? Oh, yeah. Upstairs is like a, a theater room. Place to exercise and craft. And then a bedroom and, you know, ensuite. And a toilet. Including toilet cleaning supplies. And toilet paper. Like, I got everything, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I would say. Are the three ones that I've built that I'm pretty happy with. The, the other ones, it's not that they're bad. Those bamboo speakers are kind of dope. Yeah, right? Not that the other ones are bad, it's just, I think these ones are the ones that I've been the most content with. Anyway, that's enough showing off. <laughs> See, I did like, uh, I did put a video of me doing the first one. Uh, just sped the footage up and just put, like, chill music over it. So, I mean, if it do if they the videos do well enough, I'll do more of them, though. I got them out on my... What would I even call that channel? It's not my primary channel. It's more of a channel that I put up just to have videos that aren't stream videos. They're just me talking about shit. <laughs> So, it's not on the VODs channel or the Highlights channel, it's like the other one. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that was cool. I could have done better upstairs, but it was cool. Okay, um, I've ordered all the stuff for today, right? I didn't order the air conditioner because it's just too expensive. I ordered simple panels. I got everything for today. So tomorrow I should be able to finish this up. I'm just getting the final wall for this. And then this should be done. But it looks good. Oh yeah, and I got the, uh, the gnomes I'm gonna place as, like, security guards. I like it. And 
blends in more with this as well now, so it just looks like it's one big thing. Uh, thinking. I got the recipe, right? I think I got the recipe. For someone crafting. I'm just trying to make sure I did everything before wrapping it up with this. Let me just see. I can't believe the air conditioner is like 50,000 pokey, that is just insane. Over 50,000. I wanted one, but like, I'm not gonna spend that much on it. Yeah, okay, I've ordered it, cool. Uh, I don't think there was anything else. I think maybe I might order... One of those, those lights that you can put in the background. Where is it? These. Just to put behind, um, the beer stand or whatever. Pretty sure I can squeeze it in and still be able to move there, we'll see. If not, I'll have a use for them. Did I water the flowers? Yes, okay, cool. Yeah, so I need simple, a couple of simple panels to put back here, as like, kind of like how these are done. I'm still waiting on finding the golden armor recipe so I can create the big robot, and I'm gonna put it here. And that'll pretty much finish the arcade off. Pretty happy with how it looks. Though, I have noticed something just now that's kind of out of place. It's this. It's like, well, this is inaccessible. Can I put this here? Hang on. Nah, it gets in the way. Okay, hang on. There's an answer to this. As long as there's a bin somewhere, it doesn't really matter where. Like, this will work. It can be in this back corner. Okay. And then I guess this... Oh, but... It kind of changes the floor dynamic a little, but that's fine. The only reason I liked them side on was because I could see them. But hang on. I think I need to put them side on still. And then this one can go any direction because... You can tell what it is. So many sounds. <laughs> Isn't that what an arcade's like? They do fade away as you walk away. I 
That's better. I guess I have a place to put something here. Let's see what I have. Probably a plant will do. I don't know if there's anything that's one by one. Oh. That could work. I just have to colour it blue. Oh yeah, right. The whole thing about, like, proving everyone's creative and has an imagination. It's like a thing called Gestalt Principles that you learn about in graphic design, but it's... There's also a psychology behind it. It's that the human brain interpret interprets pictures and images in particular ways. And everyone innately has that. And that's like fundamentals of design, learning those principles. So your brain's wired to do that stuff. It's just... Graphic design, in my opinion, is like learning color theory and learning how to apply things. But then... Part of it is innate as well, and it's just knowing how, with consciously or subconsciously knowing how people interpret things. It's hard to explain, but there's a very simple example I can show. Um... There's two examples I can show. Hold on. Okay. Give me a sec, I'm just saving some images. I've, I've done- I've shown this before on stream, but I'll... I'll do it again. Okay, perfect. I got the image. Alright, so... This is what I mean, is that... Everyone has the potential to have creativity and be able to... Figure things out. And this is why. So this is an ad campaign that was run by LEGO. And so, the whole thing is, basically, we look at these shapes... And our brain tells us that these things are not just blocks, they're not just colors. Like, each of us can say, at the very least, what one of these things represent to us. Like, you know, the bottom left, most of us will say, well, that's The Simpsons. But it's not. It's your brain filling in missing information. It's your brain creatively saying that these colors represent The Simpsons when they don't. You innately have that capability. And so... To do design, it's kind of like you learn how to take advantage of how the brain interprets and does this shit on its own. You know, from a technical and a non-technical standpoint, it's like... There's so many things that the brain does that's innately creative. And ev everyone, everyone has an imagination, everyone is innately creative, it's just... The difference between a graphic designer and one that isn't is just a graphic designer knows how to take advantage of colors and they just practice it. And, you know, you can say they have an imagination, but they're just honing in on stuff that everyone has. It's just they're more acute to it. They're better at it. That's all. It might it might be oversimplifying it. Like, I know that there are, there is extreme talent when it comes to design work. Not trying to downplay it by any means. There are people that are really talented in the design space. And I'm not saying everyone can measure up to that. But just, you know, getting a fundamental ability to do just basic design stuff, everyone can do it. No matter how untalented or how uncreative you can be, everyone has the ability to do it. 
our brains are wired that way. Even the, even the programmer, like the thing that I show to programmers, right? Um, the thing that I show to programmers and why they can do stuff like that is like a programmer when they look at code. Like, let me show it. I don't know if it saved the image. Hold up. I'm just getting stock imagery here. Okay, cool. So this this might seem abstract, but like... When a programmer looks at code... This is HTML, so it's not quite the same thing. But when they look at code editors, it's... Their brain sorts information out by color it's like you know a lot of code editors will have themes and colors where you know particular blocks or keywords or whatever it doesn't matter it's all organized by color and people have their preferences when it comes to that sort of stuff and the reason they do that is because the brain breaks up the information with color and so even programmers will pick their favorite color scheme when it comes to coding and it's like, well, you're making choices when it comes to colors. You're deciding what what color is, like, important to you. You have, like, this hierarchy of color, clearly. And you know, like, okay, well, green means this, yellow means that, and your brain is doing that. Like, you're being creative, whether you like it or not. Like, you've picked what makes sense for you from a color theory perspective. I don't know. People might disagree with me, but... Yeah. I've just... I've In my lifetime, I, I've had... I've had to be in situations where there are people that work on very technical things and they don't want to take responsibility for something creative because they say they're not capable of it and they try to, like, palm off the work to someone else, and I just, I, I absolutely despise that, because I know they're capable of it. They just don't want to do it. it there's a difference between being incapable and not wanting to do it. So. I've done many a talk on, like, this, this topic. But it's really interesting just how the brain interprets imagery, and just how much detail it fills in, you know? If you want to go down a rabbit hole, you should look at, like, Gestalt psychology and Gestalt principles. Anyway, it's a little aside. I mean, that's fine. It's like just. It just adds detail and color, that's all. It fits in thematically. Like the way I put that, takes a pretty abstract concept and gives a very logical explanation. Makes sense to you anyway. Yeah. I try to fa phrase it in something logical because, you know. Again, I don't want to downplay people that do art and just are really, really talented at it because that's a whole other level, right? That's a whole other level of creativity. But I'm just what I'm saying here is just like, you know, the the basic to like the intermediate skills, right? Anyone can do it. It's just, you know, the the, the final ten percent, those are like the really skilled people that have a talent for it that, you know, they don't have to think about it too much. Like of course, you know, it's like sports, right? Like you could play any sport, but you're not going to go play in the professional leagues, right? Like, most people, with the exception of, like, physical limitation, are capable of playing a sport on a f fundamental level, you know? They might not be very good at it, but they can do it. Anyway. 
And I, I just see the d design as the same thing. It's just our brains are wired to do crazy things with images. And once you're like aware of what it does and just being able to replicate that in what you design, it's, you're practically halfway there. The rest is just, some of that is like theory, some of that is just talent and practice. Color theory helps out a lot. That's definitely something, like if you wanna get into design, learning it is a good call. But also just seeing as much media as you can. That's probably the best advice I've received is just, um, you know, watching TV shows, watching cartoons, watching movies, reading books. Just as much different media as you can. And as long as you, uh, observing it and going, okay, well, that looks cool. How would they have made that? Then you improve. Even something like this, <laughs> where I'm just doing animal crossing houses, it's just like, oh, yeah, those houses look nice. Why do they look nice? Oh, because he's picked nice colors. Okay, what colors has he picked? Why did he pick those colors? And you kind of just continue and, yeah, I don't know. The more you see of it, the more you know, oh, I know these colors go well together. I've seen it so many times. Anyway. Sorry if that was like a bit of a... I don't know, I wouldn't call it a rant, but just... Maybe it's not something that a lot of people care about, or maybe people disagree, but... I just... I find the shit just fascinating and it's just the reason I work as well a designer UX person it's just it, the field is all about that so I'm just a nerd when it comes to that shit always have been not, not kidding like probably since about the age of Ten. I've just been interested in that stuff. Maybe younger, to be honest. I don't know. Hard to pinpoint it, but definitely like preteen. You're here for the design TED talk. <laughs> well, I didn't try to make it like a TED talk, but yeah. Well. Okay, I think I've done everything I can for Animal Crossing for now. So we'll leave it here. I will do more tomorrow. At some point. Um, to continue the rest of this house and stuff. And I was always hoping that the hybrids gr grow. I almost said glow. So I'm not done with the stream yet. I'm going to be swapping over to Super Mario Odyssey because I am playing that at the moment as well. But I'll do my usual outro for the video later on YouTube, which is, yeah, thanks for watching if you're watching over there. And uh, if you do want to support the channel over there, the easiest way to do so is just click the like button, or you can also watch me do other things. Either way, it helps out the channel out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. I really appreciate it a lot. But yeah, we'll do more of this soon. Till next time, bye YouTube.